What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and for whatever reason, I don't know, WWE have just announced the men's and women's Raw and Smackdown Survivor Series 5-on-5 five five traditional Survivor Series tag team match teams. Now, there has been no build towards Survivor Series on TV at all, there has been no build towards these tag team matches at all, and there has been no build at all for who's going to be on the team. So I don't know what WWE are thinking. They have just completely wasted an opportunity. And uh, it's, just, it's just lazy booking right here. Really lazy booking. But I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to tell you who is on which team for both men's and women's for Raw and SmackDown. And then at the end, we will share my opinions on it. So without further ado, the Raw women's team is Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella and Queen Zelina. So that is the Raw women's team, right? Smackdown women's team. Sasha Banks. Shotzi. Not Blackheart. Shotzi. Just Shotzi. Shayna Baszler, Natalia, and Aaliyah. The men's Raw team. Seth Rollins. Kevin Owens. Finn Balor, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic Mysterio. The SmackDown men's team. Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy. King Woods, Happy Corbin, and Sami Zayn. So that's the teams right there. What do you guys think of the teams? Let me know in the comments section down below. But I'm about to tell you all exactly what I think of the teams. Because in my opinion, this makes no sense whatsoever. These teams do not make any sense. Okay, now hear me out. Let's start with the men's Raw team. Every single person who was on this team has just been drafted from SmackDown to Raw. The Survivor Series is all about this brand supremacy and brand loyalty and proving that you're loyal to your brand and that you have the better brand. So let's make our full men's team full of people that just came over from SmackDown and have only been on Raw for about two weeks. What is the sense in that? Also, Seth Rollins has feuded with every single person on this team. Kevin Owens and the Mysterios as literally last year. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Now, the SmackDown men's tag team also has its elements where it doesn't make sense. Three of the five members have just been drafted from Raw, that including Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, and, of course, King Woods. Again, you've got King Woods on the team, but not Kofi Kingston. We have Sami Zayn instead, or Happy Corbin. One of them could have quite easily been substituted for Kofi Kingston because you've got the Mysterios as a tag team on Team Raw. You could have at least had the New Day as a tag team as part of Team SmackDown, no? And that carries over to the women's division as well. For Team Raw, we have one half of the women's tag team champions, Rhea Ripley, but not the other half of the women's tag team champions, not... Nikki A.S.H. What is the sense in that? This doesn't make any sense. It is lazy booking. Survivor Series right now doesn't look like it's going to be a great show. In my opinion, that may very well change. But WWE right now, I can't put it into words how sort of disappointed I am. The booking has become so lazy. Raw has been terrible. SmackDown, you know, it's it's okay. It well, isn't as good as it was a couple months back. I'm still bitter over the releases, which is probably tainting my view on this a little bit. Because don't get me wrong. The Team Raw team is OP as hell. Rollins, Balor, Owens, and the Mysterios. That is an overpowered team. But when you look into the long-term storytelling aspect, when you look at the storytelling aspect of... All these guys have just come from SmackDown to Raw. Why are they going to care about trying to defeat SmackDown when it was their home for over a year? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. But I want to know what your guys' opinion is anyway. And for WWE to just do this on Twitter, on, on Twitter, goddamn Twitter, not doing it over weeks of build-up, finally, yeah, I want to qualify for the team. No, none of that. Screw it. You know, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stick it on Twitter. That'll do. That'll do. It's, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on in WWE headquarters. I don't know what's going on with WWE creative right now. All I know is that it doesn't make any sense. And please, WWE, I will happily work as a writer for your company. I will happily write for the Raw team to make this better. So, uh, I don't know. 
I really don't know. It's not looking good. But either way, that is the men's and women's Raw and SmackDown 2021 Survivor Series teams. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think this doesn't make any sense? Are you disappointed that this is just announced on Twitter and there's been no actual build to it? I want to know. So let me know in the comments down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. Burn!